Welcome to episode 62 of One Piece, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> it's not a good start. As he dies, he <laughs> just <laughs> fucking dies. Welcome. He <laughs> just fucking dies. All right, I'll take care of it. All right, welcome everyone. <laughs> um, happy 62nd birthday, Noble. I am sick, 62. but I, you know... I'm not as sick as I was a few days ago. Three years until I retire, guys. <laughs> Three more. Yeah. Three more episodes. And <laughs> well, I don't know. In this economy, you might be working to 70. Who knows? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. What the hell? The recession years are always hard, going man. up. Yeah. Oh, you could die. Yeah. I mean, like, that's also, yeah. You could, well, this is well, this is one piece. Though, you think the world government lets you retire? Please. Oh, I thought God, you were gonna no. say. I thought you could say this Garp. is one piece. Do you think they let dude, you die? <laughs> dude, Sengoku retired. Yeah, he too. still works for the government. <laughs> like that's yeah. They true, don't let true. people go. No, they don't. So you're, you're gonna be working for me forever, Noble. Well, the only way is the, the ice guy just get released from the Marines. He just quit the mm -hmm. admiral. Yeah, but oh, yeah, you well, have to be admiral he, he, level. He de no, he defected. He just yeah, he's a left. criminal now, isn't it? Yeah, he's yeah, a criminal he's a straight criminal. up in the <laughs> yeah. world. Yeah. Imagine if you were working at a Wendy's and you quit, and they were like, "He's a criminal now. Let's get him." <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened with my friend once. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I've met your friends, and they do seem like the criminal. You bunch. haven't met you. You didn't meet that friend because he's in prison. No, she. Because <laughs> she's in prison. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not in prison. Um, yet. A lot of lore drops happening. Right <laughs> yeah, now. it's just that's just my friend. No, it's my friend Casey. She used to work at a Wendy's and she hated it. So she's my gym buddy now. I go to the gym now. It's oh, fun. nice! Wow, you go yeah. to the gym yeah. now. Hey, I go to the gym swole. now. I'm Holy actually. Shit. I'm gonna get yes. Swole teching will happen in I don't know th two days, two days, two weeks maybe. That'll happen. Swecking. <laughs> Swecking. <laughs> working that's out good. in the local prison yard. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, I'm excited oh. for swecking because I just <laughs> swecking because oh I could just imagine because you're small, but then if you were yeah. like. Beefy. Yeah. You just walk yeah. in like you'll be Tyler <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be incredible. Can well, you get strong enough to beat Briggs up? That's what I want. No. Okay. No. I've met all of you. Yeah, you I've can. met all of you yeah. in person. I don't think I could beat any of you up. No, no. You, if you get swollen enough, yeah, you, you could. Dude, I haven't yeah. worked out in like six months. <laughs> I've lost all my muscle. You could you, surpass right. me. Do I also it. I also have not worked right. out. Full stop. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna. I'll just wear really baggy hoodies for the next six months, and then I'll finally take it off. And, it'll and then you'll be, be ripped. Yeah. You could take. Yeah. I mean, you'll you'll rip it off. You'll yeah. flex and just try <laughs> to shatter it. You, take a before and after picture. I'd have to. I've been doing that every once a week when I go to the gym. I take a picture of hell yeah, in, like the mirror. You currently whatever. could take me teching. I think. I don't know. I think you could pulverize me for real. In a rap battle? Not so much. No, no, no. But, you know. Well, next time, because Anime <laughs> Expo's around the corner. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. We got seven months to get to get swole, and then we just fight oh, each other. Oh, we'll have a Expo. One Piece d, &D live boxing match. <laughs> live oh, we'll boxing just fucking match. beat the shit out of each other on stage. Meet us on, on the roof of the LA Convention Center, and we, <laughs> we will... I would pay to see that fight. I think oh, both, God, I would, I think, too. I think both of you guys lose. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. happens, both of us lose. <laughs> yeah. Let's just lose. Okay. All well, right, so... <laughs> I'm here again with Noble Lost Paws. Oh, hello, Dur everyone. Sorry. Oh, Duros Lost Well, I mean, I could be either or. I'm still <laughs> I'm, I'm here with William Teching 101. Yeah, hi. How you doing? I'm here with Verona Too Spooky. Yellow. Yeah, and I'm also here with Ragnar Briggs. <laughs> I didn't realize we started the episode. Yeah, yet. yeah. We've been recording. <laughs> this is all gonna be in the in the episode 62. Why not? You know? Why not? Last time on One Piece D and D, you guys had entered this mysterious underground city of advanced technology and had recently destroyed a giant clockwork dragon. We decapitated a giant clockwork dragon. You decapitated dragon. a giant clockwork yeah. dragon. Uh, and that's where the To Be Continued was. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I need to re-describe the location to you, but it's a giant city. There's that ominous clock tower in the distance with the only sort of light sources from that clock tower. And it's like whirring and making noise. Um, does anybody uh, want the, the dragon head? Looks pretty cool. Is there is there anything? Well, we need to this for parts for like. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. We needed like a spaceship to get Luna yeah, back home. So, so we, your we wife need to, to go back home and yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should send word to uh, Lisa to we need to move this parts <laughs> or something. 
Uh, yeah, well, I, I don't know if we could communicate with anybody down here. Do we have I'm, any? Like, you could just, yeah. we have a dead, dead mushy or something? We or? Do, do we have dead, dead mushies? We should have established this at this point. Well, I, 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 you, I, I mean, do not think we do. You, you, unfortunately. William pulls out a Den Den Mushi. No, 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 no. <laughs> William, <laughs> William, I think you have a Den Den Mushi on the ship that you use to talk to Trevor specifically. But I, don't I think mostly you have... use it to pray. No, I but you, call you, him you, with you that do thing, have the talkie yeah. walkies. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh. I have talkie walkies. I'll do that. Um, I'll be like, all right, come in, Lissa one two niner. er All right. If you could change your fate, I would have come <laughs> down there with you. Hi there, change your fate, 3742. Uh, we found a giant dragon down here. It's made out of cogs and gears. Should ship up to make a ship shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Should, should ship up to make a spaceship ship shape. <laughs> that, sure, that, sure, that sure sounds superb, sir. <laughs> All right, we'll keep it down here. <laughs> Shit. Should I what? Should I come down there, or sh are you gonna bring uh, it back up? <laughs> I, I, I mean, we we don't know how dangerous it is down here yet. I mean, if there's a giant dragon down here, it might be like there might be more of these. Well, the we don't area know. is secure for now, I believe. For now, us. but we don't know what else is down here. You know? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's that is true. But we could salvage it after. I mean, I, I guess just prepare to uh, get it on the ship. Prepare to salvage. Yeah, uh, yeah, I wanted I wanted a pet dragon. <laughs> For Ragnar, you can carry oh pick the giant like the decapitated head and just use well, it as a helmet. I don't know if we need the head. <laughs> yeah, use it as a helmet. Mm. I don't know. Um yeah, but yeah, no, I can help you guys carry it out of here at some point. That could work. Well we'll we'll, we'll help out is when we we leave and find out whatever it is that we are looking for down here again. Well, we're down I... here to find Oh boy, Tempest! What are we doing down the here? Fourth again? brother, <laughs> fourth brother. That's what we're doing. Yep. Oh yep. yes, our memory is as keen as ever, Captain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> God, it was just a few seconds ago. It's it, it, it was always acting like it's been ago. two weeks. Oh my God! You know, if we get into fights, it's intense. I don't know what's going on. All you right. did get hit pretty hard. Oh God, yeah. Um, Bro. Remind me, why do we want to find the fourth brother? <laughs> uh, oh, I know that one. I actually do know that one. He's uh, a doctor that'll help boss not die. Oh, that that's is right, that that's is right. one of the reasons. The other one is because you want Blake back, and Trevor wants to find the fourth brother, and he's hired us. And by us, I mean me and my friend Olaf. That's great, Olaf. Okay, and um, and he is essentially keeping Blake hostage from us. Until yeah, that's we... a dick thing to do. Oh, this is going to be difficult. He's, Dude, he's your brother sucks Blake. sometimes. He's yeah, Blake hostage, but also he's a doctor that we need. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Yeah, that's sort of the. Well, what if we make the trade and then just steal him back? We could do that. We could just treat him as like yeah, a commodity essentially. Or well, like we, we said didn't... hand him over, but we he did we didn't say let him keep him, right? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's all in the wording. Yeah. We or need we to. Make him heal. We make him heal, boss. And then we give him up. <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking, like, before the whole Blake stuff, I wanted him to join our crew because we kind of need a doctor. Like, we've never actually had a doctor. It's a miracle none of us have. Well, well, well what if he's we a really mean doctor? Wait and reserve our judgment until we actually we meet this man. Yeah, he that's could true. be an absolute dick. <laughs> Duros, Duros, it's a big ocean. How many other doctors are there going to be around here? You know, there's an island full of doctors, isn't there? I believe. Where? I remember. I've never heard of this place. <laughs> You've never heard of Doctor Island. <laughs> Doctor Island? If there's oh, a so Doctor right Island, next to Nurse Island. All right. Well, let's make a course for Doctor Island after this, then. Oh, you guys start on Doctor Island. A, you need a PhD to to, to get in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty huge dick. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we've already measured for dick size on this chat. I think Ragnar has the largest. I, I think we're I think we're all pretty average. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think, no, wait, William wait. is below average. Louis Leclerc was the one with the largest penis. Right? Oh yeah. yeah Louis oh, was God, the one with no. the largest. That's why he was the best. One. He, he was the best of us. He was the best. He was the best. All right, be Louis. Oh, uh, he was the one that could have gotten us into Doctor Island, but he died. Oh no, <laughs> Louis Lecoq. <laughs> Louis Lecoq. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I, I believe all of this. By the way, there's yeah, there's Doctor Island, Nurse Island. Sure, why not? Yeah. Um, is the clock tower lit up? Like, is that like an illuminated? Place? Yeah. Well, there's definitely lights in the inside. It stands out though from every, oh, everything definitely. else. Is kind of dark because yeah, oh, everything's okay, like so. ruin. All right, I think we head that direction then. If everyone's cool with that. 
I mean, these dark alleys look pretty inviting, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Let's, let's try something tactical for a change. Verona, you're a navigator. You have a spyglass. See if there's anything going on in the clock tower. All right. Yeah. <laughs> What do I see? <laughs> Are you just gonna you to really for... close look at the clock tower? Like, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try. Like, I don't know what the window is windows? like on this thing. Or something. I thought. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, maybe. Uh, I don't know. This spyglass has like certain. <laughs> X-ray like, vision. Can, can you actually, <laughs> yeah. No, that's not what I like. There's gotta be windows, right? Don't windows exist or on like, clock towers? Or yeah. like, uh, or like kind of like a watchtower where there's areas where people can like stand and walk around. Oh, yeah. oh, I see what you mean. Go. It's yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it doesn't Let's have any of those. Closer look at the outside. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Do your perception anyway. Do your perception okay. roll. Beep. Um, Ooh, 24. Oh, it's pretty good. Okay. You sort of climb atop some rubble, get a higher vantage point, and you look with your spyglass, inspecting into the uh, uh, frosted glass of the clock tower. Um... Mm. And you do notice like a figure, like a shadowy figure in the clock tower. Um, and as you, you can see, as you look in close at the clock tower, things whirring and moving um, in very like precise t -t 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 manners. Mm. Um, and I mean, that's as much as you can really see from this distance. Okay. Okay. Well, you the could clock tower you could appears to be operational. There's definitely somebody in there, is what you can And there is somebody or something in there walking right. around. Well, at least there's not like a bunch of guards or anything like patrolling it. Like, well, yeah. I think there was, but we killed it. Yeah. It's, it's well, we here. this is a guard. You know. <laughs> yeah. He, he obviously right. does not want us here. No. No. This would right, make a pretty cool work. base of operations, though. If we kill everybody here, and I don't know, it's a cool city underground. I don't know. I mean. You know, yeah, it's pretty hidden. It's be pretty be cool. a shame. Yeah. Be a shame to just leave it down here and just not do anything. With I dump it. Yeah. Oasis 2.0. Yeah, there you go. I like that. Let's make well, an I'm oasis still curious in the new as to world. What happened to this entire place too to make it like this? Um, does Does the rubble look like it's been burned or just cut or just like general decay? From... I think it's more general decay um, and almost right. but like explosive. It's got explosive ruin, right? Ooh, like almost okay. like bombs have hit the place, but. F long time ago. Okay. Wow. So mm. it was like bombarded by something, but it's underground? That's weird. Huh. Yes. How can you bomb something underground? Well, maybe <laughs> somebody was like living. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that is a good question, Duros. I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. Everyone knows bombs don't work underground. Bombs don't work. The moment they, they go below, below sea level, level. Yeah, they, don't they just think cease to exist. Well, but, um, <laughs> maybe, maybe people were living down here at one point, and then another group of people wanted it, and they like attacked it, and there was a battle, and then they both died. Except the somehow there's people. a metal dragon. I don't know. All right, Captain, what's the plan? I guess we charge on the clock tower and see what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you just charge. Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, you guys. Let's walk in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Let us all no, walk in a perfectly like straight can... line. <laughs> all right. Wait, what horizontal. The... Or like... <laughs> what is the order? Yeah, of this that's line? funnier. Like, let's do the walk to Arlong Park, but in the middle of this dark, <laughs> foreboding city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the idea that you guys are essentially queuing up to get inside the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, it's like a line. Look, remember back in elementary school, it's like the lines you always had to walk in. Single file, we're going to, going to lunch. I, I really yeah. want to know. I really want to know what the order that. is. What is the hey, order? Hey, no budding. I'm in front. <laughs> Wait, all right, oh, so well, Rag I'm supposed to be the one block. Oh, dang it. Olaf. <laughs> all right. Well, He's always such a Rag kid, that Ragnar. Okay, Ragnar and Olaf are really going to butt heads over who's going to go in front. Contest. Uh, Olaf goes in front. Is like I, I am Olaf. I must lead. I will hey, go. I was, I was already there. No budding. Hey, this is, my, this is my line. I started the line with my idea. It is my line now. You must learn to appreciate what you have. You have a bear. You can't have a bear and be in front of the line. This is bullshit. I am in front because I am Olaf. Rock paper scissors. Okay. Oh shit! Here we go. Here we go. Now, now, Francis. No. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's. <laughs> I guess <how> on, <laughs> on go. On shoot. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Scissors. 
I thought for that sure was... he was going to go raw. Oh, wait. So mm. Olaf and Ragnar both go scissors, which is so good. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Olaf pulls out his axe. Do not test me, Ragnar. <laughs> I pull out my executioner <laughs> axe and my great axe. Uh, he pulls out his Why other axe. You... <laughs> I guess, <laughs> like... You can both be at the front of the line. You can both be at the front. You can walk parallel to each other. I don't care. Just... Don't Why? kill each other over who's going to be the line leader. God damn. Dale's just already <laughs> walked ahead of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of them noticed. <laughs> While they're all doing that. Oh, looks I'm fantastic. like, okay, whoever whoever's at the front of the line, they're probably going to think is the leader, so I'm, I'm way in the back. I'm going to be the last person in line. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're last, last. Yeah, I'm going to last. So it goes I'll bring up the Duros, rear. Duros, yeah. Olaf, Ragnar. Uh, <laughs> again, I guess Verona, I assume you're near the back yeah. as well. So then it'll, um, it'll go Tempest. Pearl, Doxy, Jimmy, Cyril, Verona, William. Let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm bringing up the rear. Let's you guys can choose who, which line you want to follow. <laughs> <laughs> two lines. Okay. <laughs> if you'll join my line, we will do the conga. Olaf. Olaf. I don't know. I lean over to Verona. I don't know. The conga is kind of tempting. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Bada bing! I love the conga, says Jimmy. I don't really want to create any more conflict here, William. <laughs> Maybe we should just make two lines, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're still going with this. Okay, okay, so no, 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 no. This is important. This is important for battle structure, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, what's Ragnar taking you walking. so long? <laughs> I'm right. at the back. I'm at the back of Ragnar's line. I don't know what else is going on, but I'm doing that. All you right. eventually reach the front of the clock tower, the base. It looms over you. The light sort of illuminating the party. Um, right. There's a giant wooden door in front of you, um, and the, the noise of all the gears and the clockwork and the steam is increasingly louder as you stand in front of this building, um, huh. almost all deafening. Right. So. Um, but yeah, the door is there if you want to knock and or open. Ragnar tries to cut the door in half. You I just was gonna <laughs> say, that's up to the You can try the handle. I mean, no, 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 no. He said wood. I mean, <laughs> said wood. And I'm, I'm Olaf is my, uh, just gonna do the same. Do you not time. have any appreciation of the fine arts of handle? I do, but this, <laughs> this wooden door does not suit this atmosphere. Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar's <laughs> really into feng shui all of a sudden, like, this doesn't hey, fit This here. is not like, this is just a wooden door, so you it's do just, just cut door. it down, and so does Olaf, he comes in with his two axes and starts cutting it down as well, and you well, just my, my axe is <laughs> super effective. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it's the second, 11 the against second the, the axe hits the door, it just explodes. <laughs> I mean, 11 does hit a door, regardless. Yeah, um, it's just a door. It's just a door. You shatter the door into little splinters. Um, you can roll the damage all you want. <laughs> roll damage. <laughs> roll the damage Thank you, Mama door Briggs. damage. My mom just brought me uh, spaghetti. Oh, wait, no, you... No, 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 no Briggs. <laughs> My Briggs, God. Sorry, Briggs. You critically failed. Really? Oh, Eleven's you your did. crit fail. You did. Yeah. You don't have advantage as well because you're still slightly exhausted. So if yeah. anything, you've that still hits a door. Are you though, kidding me? You, I, just, I mean, it's <laughs> it's made of wood. I have a axe uh, you, The thing is, Briggs, wood. you didn't need to roll, right? I was just gonna let you hit it. But now that you have and you critically failed, Olaf, it hits like the stone <laughs> overhang or something. And then Olaf comes through and just does it instead. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes you feel like shit. <laughs> this, is this is bullshit. I want a, I want a bear. <laughs> Hola. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> what it does is it makes you feel weak. And you don't like that. Mm. <laughs> sad. Um, All right. Ragnar's so, in like, a bad mood. I guess Thank we God just go and wander inside since they decided to destroy Destroyed the door. The door. <laughs> Right here's in a bad mood, but he's like, thank God I got some spaghetti out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found it on the walk over, I got lost. <laughs> Gravy An gave abandoned spaghetti <laughs> shop. <laughs> Gravy spaghetti. gave That's everyone why he critically failed. Spaghetti. He was distracted by the yeah. spaghetti. Gravy packed us a spaghetti <laughs> dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gravy gave everyone pocket spaghetti. <laughs> pocket spaghetti. Man, I mean, even with the pocket lint, the gravy spaghetti is out of this world. It's it's the best, you know. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the pocket? <laughs> <laughs> we got pat pocket macaroni. Just <laughs> okay. You enter 
into this darkish room. I mean, it, it's it's lit up uh, by various gizmos and gadgets and such. Mm. There is right. a, a man. It looks like he's tinkering on this enormous machine that takes up the centerpiece of the room. Uh, it's got weird... You can't really make sense of it. It's got weird metal structure that's looping in on itself. It's got weird clocks all over the, it. And the... And it's got cogs and random stuff just... An amalgamation of machinery. I'm gonna try to make sense out of this. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you, you try to make... You, you gotta... No, yeah. Six. I got a You six. do not make <laughs> sense out of it. Um, in the... Working on the machine... Uh, is this man dressed in sort of all blue with this blue hat with goggles on it. Uh, he's got sort of a long uh, white moustache. He looks relatively old. Um, he doesn't even turn around as you enter the room. And uh, he says, as you enter the room, he goes, If you already wanted to stop me, you are too late. Why have you come? Louis? Um, are you alive? He sort of turns round. And you see this old, I mean, it does just look like... On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being Louis. Like, where I mean, are we it, at here? It looks exactly like Louis, but like old. Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait a second. Didn't we meet an old Louis at some point? Met an old Louis. Yeah. How many we old Louis are there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're infinite Louis. <laughs> so, you know my name. I assume... You're you must be familiar of the Louis of this timeline. Um, we were. Yeah, yeah we, he was our friend. He was our... I, what was his position on it? M musician. He was our musician. Uh, yeah. He must have been happy. Good. Now he leave was, me alone. I have almost a, finished. Are, are you a doctor, by the way? <laughs> I am a doctor in the same sense that Louis... Are we all doctors... I can reverse any injury, any illness. Oh, okay. Could your See, friend was... not do that? Oh, yeah, all the time. He saved us from death multiple times, but he couldn't save himself. But any illness? Uh, How far oh. back can you reverse people? I can reverse probably further back than your friend. I see the Louis in this timeline is dead, as is the fate of many Louis. I... From I, I am from a timeline where I guess I never met you. Um, oh. And he's just do, still mindlessly still, working on his machine. Do you like mimes? Ah, I used to. I've forgotten all the joys of my youth. I almost died myself, but... All right. I, this is, uh, th I think we found emo Louis. <laughs> <laughs> e emo variant Louis. Okay. Okay. Wait, someone play some French music. <laughs> <It's like sad. laughs> I don't have. Jaka, Wait, don't Jaka. I have that violin from like the first episode? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you still have it on <laughs> you. Yeah, I don't have that on me, but I had it. <laughs> Frere Jaka, Frere. <laughs> hey guys, I'm really confused. Why is Louis over here? I actually don't know. Uh, Time travel. Is rather I, don't, I don't get it. Louis, why are you here? I am from a different timeline. I. Almost, well, how'd you get up here? Well, let me explain. I almost died in my time. Um, but I sent myself back in time uh, as a way of saving my own life. And by doing so, crossed timelines since was this one. Um, hmm. I, uh, so maybe, maybe our Louis did the same. No, I think he's flat as a pancake. No, I think he is. I think he got dead there, as shit. If there is uh, yeah. a body, then he is dead. No. Yeah, think there well, uh, there wasn't much of one, but there was one, yeah. Time, it flows like a river, and it spits off at key junctions. Whenever I travel back, I jump between rivers, but I am unable to change course. This is complicated, man. This Why did like you never seek yourself out? Ooh. It seems... I mean... He, it is a futile effort. I... I keep... No matter how much I try to save myself and go back, I still age. Louis still die. There is an almost infinite amount of us out there. How but old are you? Give or take 60... 60 or so years. 60, yeah, 70. Okay. 
Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> get any weird ideas, Captain? Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> He's I'm like okay. over fifty-five. <laughs> Oh, oh, 70. Damn. Uh. <laughs> um, okay, Captain, what's the plan? Well, why why me, have you come here? We, Well, we were in search of the uh, the fourth brother uh, of the Aeons. That is me. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, All right, well, I, we're going to have to have good. a talk. Oh, yeah. I mean, I formed the Aeons in this timeline for the same reason any of the other ones did. For immortality, I thought... If no matter how much I travel back, if I still die, if other Louis die, it's pointless. But they got crazy, became some sort of weird cult. I uh, had to leave. But I have finally found a way. I, my machine is almost done. What's this do? What does it do? Yes. I took. Is it a spaceship? Because we're actually in the market for one uh, of those right about now. It lets you travel, but in a different way. I took. Okay. Technology from this place that I have found here and combines it with my devil fruit powers. It lets me see the rivers. It lets me go back to the inception point. I have created a machine that works with my devil fruit to essentially use it to stop myself from aging and recover all my own injuries. That's why I will become immortal. We, oui. But even if I become immortal, other Louis still die as evidenced. So you could travel through time? My plan is to travel to the inception point of the first Louis Le Clock. To my, our birth. So you're Instools going back to when your parents had sex. That's kind of messed up. You know, a little bit. I want to install this device into myself and make Louis Le Clock immortal in every timeline. That way I will always live. Does that mean our Louis comes back then? Maybe. I am not huh. sure, but it is worth a shot. There's no reason why you will, should stop me. I am not I, evil. I mean, well, the whole thing with Blake, though. Who is that? Red hair guy. I don't know who he is. Who is? Who he is? Oh. Why would I know who that is? No, we just heard that you were the one. That... No. It... <clears throat> yeah. Trevor is holding <laughs> Blake hostage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Trevor's holding him with us. And Trevor's oh, like, do this for yeah. us so yeah. that I will get, oh, right. give you that's back it. Blake. Okay. But that's I thought we shouldn't bring this up to him. I don't know. No. Yeah, I, um. no. Um. Huh. <laughs> well, well we, need uh, to, we need to Louis. discuss this for a moment here, old Louie. <laughs> Just, uh. So, what, do you, what, do, okay. what do you want to do, guys? This has gotten, like, infinitely more complicated. I thought we would just come in here and, like, beat a so guy up and then him, drag him back. Yeah. Let, let's just say we suppose we let him get out his plan. Sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, what happens when he does it? Does he, does he, where does he go? What does he do? I, I, I feel like that's going to really change. I'm not a physicist here, but I feel like that'll change, like, everything on the timeline. You know? I don't know. I feel like messing with time travel could fuck stuff up. That is, like, and really out of our depth here. Yeah, I have. I, I don't understand. Like, but also, if there's, if, Louis, if there's just infin create infinitely more timelines, isn't that how that goes? <laughs> yeah, because I mean, <laughs> I don't time travel how... in every show and series is different. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, really. Yeah, holy but shit. Like, <laughs> I feel like his his plan is flawed because even if you're immortal, like what happens when something just kills you, like yeah. being flattened like a pancake? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Like you know, like, do, do you, you want to live? Reverse, yeah, even though you're dead, because you're dead. What happens, like, do, what, do you want to live, like, a million years? That seems like you just go crazy, you know? I mean, you can always remove the device. Oh, okay, so you can still, it's like an out whenever you, all right. I mean, okay. Huh. <laughs> Time travel, huh? <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't understand at all. But can you, can you, you uh, go not, back? <laughs> you do not need to understand. Can you uh, go back and fix my messed up childhood? No, I've only that... said it to one point. It's taken me this enough time to be able to make sure I go back to the right point in time. Oh, all right, okay. So what do you plan on doing when you, when you install that device? What happens afterward? I live my life without the fear of death and without the knowledge that every... without the knowledge that I am dying in many other timelines. Yeah, but you have to have a goal. Like what else do you want to accomplish? Maybe get a nice, um, maybe marry a beautiful woman, have children, live a life. You know, what does anyone want? This guy doesn't seem that bad, honestly. Yeah, but don't I you mean, know that, like, whoever you marry, they're going to also be dying in every oh, single yeah. timeline? Yeah, there Isn't you go. Isn't that going to plague your mind, too? 
I yeah. will deal with the future when it comes. That seems really short-sighted of you. <laughs> Coming from you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're really just questioning what, like, the meaning of life is. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. what is your happy... Yeah. <laughs> the device only works for Louis, though. Okay. Because it well, reacts with his devil fruit. Can you, um... Hmm. Regardless, before you end up going through with this plan, we happen to have somebody that needs a little bit of reversing, if you know what we're saying. Could you help us out with that? Yeah. Why? What is in it well, for me? Because we don't. We won't assault kill you. You. <laughs> you are going to threaten me? Yeah, what? that's we're not pretty... threatening you yet. Listen. Well, the oh, problem well, is we're you seem like a good a person, favor. and that's really fa that's really bothering us. Because if you were a bad person, <laughs> look, then we would have like, come in here, kick your ass, and then hand you over to the look, whatever the government you, or the, something. The closest thing I have to a father figure is on death's door, and we were told you're the only person that could save him. So I have to say, if you don't agree to that, I might have to stab you. He. I feel like we're the villains here. Yeah. Oh! Charos, <laughs> we're pirates. When did... This yeah, is why I said... We're moral pirates. Ah, that could be debated. <laughs> that could, that could yeah, be debated. Moral? He Jeros, killed you old horse. man in episode two for Jeros. no reason. Jeros, you are a moral knight. You are a good-natured individual, and that's why you're my best friend. But... The rest of the whole situation, I don't know. Pearl yeah, do, eats people, for God's sake. I, 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 we all have I don't want to. Balls. Don't bring Pearl into this. <laughs> hey, I've all right, trying. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. That was low. That was low. <laughs> sorry. That was your <laughs> choice, Captain. Come on. Keeps please. us in check. But anyway, Louis, what, I'm, what we're trying to say is, wouldn't it be a lot easier for you not to try to fight us? Because we have, we have a, a couple is, reasons why we're here. This is why I already said you are too late. I just need to push this button. Look, I'm just saying, well, then push the damn button then. I mean, don't, but... I mean, I mean he will. <laughs> he literally will. I mean, he has no reason not to. I am... It is but not 100% something... finished, but it should work good enough. So his finger's, like, right about to push the button. We. Oui. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll roll my devil fruit from my back so he can't see what? it, and maybe I'll get something cool that I could use to, like... Uh, 88, that looks neat. That looks like it should be fun. 88. Uh, all right, old man, just calm down. Um, okay, what is 88? Holy moly. Devil. <laughs> He's dying. 80, 88 is, um... How did I roll his copy of you William? You rolled as my copy. Fuck? I was like, is my clone back copy again? William. <laughs> yes. Um, 88 is... The mini mini no me allows you to shrink. It's eaten by Lily <laughs> a stomach. Oh, and stomach oh, from the fantastic. okay. I have a really stupid question. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Can you like do a roll <laughs> to have him press the button, Rustage? I mean, he's. What do you mean by that? Because. <laughs> I, for my ring thing today, I can change it to a critical fail. <laughs> <He's> not, <laughs> he doesn't have to roll to press a button. <laughs> yeah. Can you just it. do it for my sake, please? But then you're just going to make it, like, what's it? <laughs> just make him Question. flip and miss. And, oh, no. Oh, now no. You no. <laughs> hey, if I can miss the door, he can miss the button, okay? Can I can I... change his fate. <laughs> you you, can you change didn't fate. need to miss the door. You didn't need to roll for that. You rolled <laughs> on your own accord. That's true. Can I make other people tiny or just me? Just you. All right. I, I was gonna roll. I rolled persuasion. I was gonna be like, but your shoes are untied. You can't press the button yet. I will. <laughs> listen, don't listen. I. I will. Duros. Push... No, not Duros. Ragnar, throw me. I turn into the side. I will of a push baseball. the button and then I will be back. But you already said you're not gonna help us. <laughs> I, I have no reason to. Give me a Look, good reason, and then I will help you. It I, is, I have a good reason. You've never had Wait. a negotiation before? <laughs> All right. Once you click the button, and you're gone, doesn't the machine, st is the machine still here? What if I break the machine? Can you come back? Okay. <laughs> I will come back in the, in an instant. Oh, then push Here's the a, button, Louis. then! No, okay. hold on a <laughs> Look, hold oh, on He's gonna... They are morally <laughs> bankrupt Louis. right now. Listen up. I apologize profusely for the behavior, Louis. Um, they are idiots, to say the least. Oui. Um, th what we're just trying to do here is 
Oh, Louis, he was always a... A very odd man, let's just say that. But he was, he meant well. And he, for one of us, well, like, for the most part, was one of us. And we were hoping... Not really to capture you at this point. In fact, that was just like a side thing that these guys over here wanted. We really wanted your aid. Yeah. That's just a side you see, thing. Louis, you see, Louis was like family to us, and you clearly care a lot about yourself to the fact that you want to save yourself in every infinite timeline. Don't you think that if Louis cared about us, you should also care about us like yourself once did? We were like family to you. And what happened to this Louis? He got he... smashed, saving our lives. Exactly. Yep. He presses the button. <laughs> no! Wait, I'm, I'm tiny, William. I mean, that's, uh, that may be a good thing, honestly, because um, if, if he does that, then our Louis might be immortal, and then he wouldn't right, well, die. Wait, uh, he, Let's see what he, happens, then. He presses the button, and he looks up, and the machine starts whirring, and... And Did it starts vibrating. To <laughs> and to press. Did he actually press it? <laughs> and then, Hold on, I'll turn back to regular size. And then... <laughs> okay, so... Well, what, does he pop back into existence then? Uh, okay, no, this is what happens. The machine starts whirring and going crazy. And Louis LeClock looks up and he goes... Wait a second, this is not right. This is not how it's supposed to go. Um, and he's like frantically looking around the machine and um, like- Not have an emergency looking, stop? No, it's just, <laughs> I just, uh, I just, it's uh, you, it's because you arrest me and- uh, Oh, it's I was our fault to, now. Listen to this crap. Uh, <laughs> it, it is okay. It's just, I, I, it's fine. I just, he's like messing with some of the, the um, fucking wires and shit. And he's, he's going around and the machine is like vibrating, vibrating. And then there's like a flash of light. Okay. 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 And okay. Yes, we're blinded. And oh, then, yeah. there he goes. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you hear birds. And you open you your hear eyes. hear birds. And the sort of, you're in a sort of field, and the sun is rising. What the fuck? And you look around yourself, and you guys are all there. Um, okay. And so is Tempest and Olaf and all of those. Even Jimmy? Even Jimmy and Doxy, everyone oh, that was in the oh, room. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank uh, God. But not Louis, notably. All right. And you, you sort of, you open your eyes, and you hear a voice. And a voice that goes, What are you, what are you, what are you doing lying there? And a man walks up, he's got a retinue of sort of soldiers, and he's got this like nice blonde beard and long flowing blonde hair, and he's got armor that you recognize. Um, and, and you actually kind of recognize his face as well. Um, and he goes, this is um, not a safe place to be sleeping, friends. And he sort of smiles. Um. Um, and you, you, you recognize the armor as Blue Blood's armor. Oh, and all right. he looks like a really young Blue Blood. So we actually died this time. We're actually dead. This is okay. Here we are. <laughs> hey guys, the, the old guy's not old anymore. What's going on? <laughs> For some reason, I don't have an urge to stab him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. Okay. A lot of things change when you're handsome. Yeah. Um. Where are we right now? I say to him. Where are you? Yeah. We're, we're on the, um, the, you mean, I mean, you gotta be more specific. Do you mean the uh, planet? Uh, we... Country, island, planet, just give me everything. Um, we, we're not quite sure ourselves. Um, we've just landed here a few weeks ago. We're planning on, well, I don't know. You might work for the enemy, so. <laughs> my my oh, parents not, always say I'm enemy. too, my parents always say I'm too trusting. <laughs> nah. Well, you can um, trust us. We're the most trustworthy people ever. I'm gonna use my panache on you. <laughs> Jesus. This is rage. Uh, I make a persuasion check, and he has to contest it with an insight. He's not hostile to me, I don't think, so... No, he's not hostile. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's performance! Fuck! I mean, um, it's the same modifier, I think. Yeah, it, it is. Actually, it anyway. is the same. It's the same, it's same modifier. It's the same role. It's the so, same charisma he, check, he, yeah. he goes... Well, you seem like a trustworthy bunch, and if you were the enemy, you wouldn't be lying out here in the middle of a field. Yeah. You'd be in yeah, he's the- charmed by me for the next, uh, one minute, so yeah. Okay. And uh, can I say, you look very sexy. 
Um, oh, thank you. You know, you don't look too bad yourself. I love the you. long flowing hair. You know, you know. Um, my name is This Arthur. is my crew. Oh, my name is William. This is my crew. I am, I, oh, this yep. is uh, some of my soldiers. I am I am the son of, uh, well, I'm part of the Blue Blood clan. Oh, um, I've never heard of them. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. Where are you from? My friend, what kingdom? Uh, do you I'm reside from just in? a tiny little island in the south. You've you've probably never heard of it. Um, un- probably not. I've I've only been on this planet for like a month or so. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah. Well, we're not from this. I don't know what planet this is. Honestly, right now we're a little bit hazy. Um, most people call it the All Blue. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, let's get you mm. up. There's a lot of you fuckers, isn't there? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He like individually. Hey, I'm gonna... Ragnar. I'm a bear. Nice to meet you, Ragnar. You're a bear. What does that mean? I turn into a bear. How do you do that? <laughs> do you actually do that, or you just say that you turn yeah. into a bear? <laughs> you no, turn... I turned into a bear. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, Incredible. What is sort of magic is this? I actually don't know how it works. I ate a fruit once, and now I can do this. You ate a fruit? Yeah. What do you mean? Like uh. There's... There's this fruit that give you power. There's more yeah. than one? Oh yeah, check it out. I could turn tiny. I turn down small and I go back big again. What? What is going on? The, the, he's got uh, a couple just soldiers in the <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. just Really, I don't really have anything. It's just, it's just me. Hello, how are you doing? I'm a, I'm a knight. I'm from the Tarakau Kingdom. If that means anything to you? There's a. No, I don't. I don't know if that does per se. I'm sorry. Um, oh, and a right. bunch of the knights bef- behind uh, Blue Blood are like a little bit scared of you guys. They're backing up. Um, Olaf is like, I am bear too! And he turns into a big polar bear. <laughs> yeah! Polar! I don't know <laughs> Captain, I don't know how time travel works, but. I have no idea. But I don't think we're in. I, I, I think we were in the past right now. I think so. What do you guys think? Well, I definitely think we're definitely yeah. in the past, considering how young this man is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wonder mean, if yeah. Blue Blood is stronger now than he was, or weaker. Are we sure it's even Blue Blood? It might be his, like, dad or something. That's true. Yeah. What did we he never say got his first captain? I couldn't Arthur. hear you. It was Arthur. Arthur. We, okay. we never got his real name. We never got Blue Blood's name, did we? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, I have no idea what to do, but I imagine we want to get back to the present. Um, have you seen a man with a large uh, white mustache beard combo? Uh, I have not, my hat, friends. Goggles. You are the first strangers Lots I've seen. Ruffles. But you guys mm-hmm. seem um, weary. Uh, I don't oh. know how you ended up here, but you're always welcome into my camp. Oh, uh, of course, absolutely. We would, of course, join your camp. Thank you so much for welcoming us. All right. Well, what, I just right. had a random thought. Yes. What is Doxy doing right now? Doxy's like, uh, <laughs> looking around like, because oh, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Doxy, it's all right. We this weird shit. I, can I just like yeah. pull Doxy aside and just like tell her to act, like, Doxy? I know this is very scary, but you need to act cool for the sake of all of us right now. Okay. I always fucking act cool. Okay. It's just yeah, but like, that could be your dad. Look, and I know just how much act you smarter don't than like the captain. <laughs> yeah, it's so not just, hard. Just play dumb. You don't yeah. know him. We'll figure this out. You, okay. You saying that's if actually that, him, if, and it doesn't just that, look if, like him? I we I don't if, know. If that's actually <laughs> if if that's actually him, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Ragnar, be cool. No, no <laughs> nobody. Nope. This is a rare order from me. Nobody kill anything for until we know what's going on here. All right. Oh my god, Captain, I'm so proud of you. Like, I, have, I have never been Dude, more happy to hear those words out of your mouth. We're oh. in the past. If we kill You've somebody, learned. we might not exist. All right? That's how that works, right? <laughs> I uh, guess. I don't know. I don't know how time travel works, man. I'm basing this all off a comic I read one time. <laughs> so, uh, Arthur, what are your goals? Why did you come here? Uh, well, I... You want to walk to the camp with me, and I'll tell you on the way. Sure, sure. I'm on, friends. All uh, right, let's sing a marching song. Oh no! Our blood All is right. blue. <laughs> 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 
I don't know why I said that. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, sure, that's how you blend in with people. You sing marching yes. songs together. You know? For a Rajak. <laughs> I'm sure Duros would know some because I've marched before, so I'd probably be leading mm -hmm. a band charge if you really want me to. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, as you guys start walking to the camp, yes, I am from a family, um, or from a kingdom of, we are called the Blue Bloods. Um, ah. We are not from this world, so it's not unusual you might not have heard of us. Y so you're aliens then? I guess technically, but so ah. are a lot of people on this planet. It seems has a lot of people who've come from other places, like the moon. Yeah, every once um, in a while. Well, I've have married one almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, <clears throat> that would that would make your child half Durosian, I guess. Is that the correct term? I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure myself. You've, yeah, you've caught us. Well, it's in always a... going to be half me anyway. You know what I mean, <laughs> Captain? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> you've caught us in a. Maybe bad timing, bad situation. Uh, we're actually gearing up to go to war. Oh! Um, not good, huh? Well, I You've been mean... here a month and you're going to war. Yeah, well, that's why we've come here in the first place. Um, we had something stolen from us. From some of the inhabitants of this planet. Mm -hmm. um, what was it? It was a, steal? a fruit. We call it the fruit of life. Um... We're not quite sure what it does, but it's a holy relic, very important to our people and our culture. And it was stolen yes. from us by weird men with weird machines. And they took it to this planet. And we is it an apple or an orange? Or what kind of fruit is it? It's a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, look down at, like, everybody. Like, of course it was a fucking pineapple. <laughs> just like, all right, yeah, I mean, like, we like pineapples. We have a lot of pineapple juice where we're from. I don't know if you've ever partook, but it's very delicious. <laughs> Do you know who stole it? Wait, well, it was... And he looks over into the distance. And in the distance, you see a... Um, like, on the horizon, sort of... The shadow of a giant city. Ooh. It is a great kingdom. We do not know its name, but we've tracked it down to there. The people of that kingdom, their technology is far greater than our own. But we have m strength. We found that our uh, our strength is naturally greater than those who reside on this planet. So, we're planning on taking it by brute force. Yet we don't know where it is in the city. So, Quick question: Is there a is there a big clock tower in the city? Um, yes. I'm there is. No. All right, now it's starting to make sense. But this, this right, city we, is above the ground. Okay. We might actually be after the same people in person you are. Yeah? Well, that's good news, my friend. I'm glad that you're allies. Uh, we've heard rumors of other kingdoms that are planning on also attacking this great city. Um, Another? Oh, gosh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my God. This, I, is, this is a lot. I mean, we've... Okay. Hmm. Did they steal well, a lot from other people? Or are they just a bad kingdom? What's what's their story? I'm listen. I'm not sure myself. I'm. They stole something from us. They brought it back down to this planet. We just want it back. Um, that we, seems fair. Are you willing to like kill a lot of people to get it back? Yes. Have, have they decided well, that they didn't want to give it back? I assume not. We haven't tried communicating with them, to be honest. Ooh, what if we sneak in? What if we sneak in, steal it, give it back to you? That would solve all of our problems. There but we go, then. All right. Doxy, let's go and just steal this fruit thing, make it back with a giant pineapple by lunchtime. Is it a giant pineapple or a regular pineapple? It's a pineapple, but it looks weird, has weird uh, shape and color weird to it. Weird oh. spirals on it. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, all right. Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, all right. I mean, you guys exactly? have walked to the camp, and this has sort of taken a couple of hours to do yeah. so. Uh, the sun is sort of, I'd say it's around 10 a.m. at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay, so you're going to war to try to get this thing back, right? Yes. What if they've already destroyed it? Oh, we would know. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's well, reassuring. That's it's, a, yeah. it's, a, <laughs> so, it's a very powerful are, object. Are you part? So you're like part of the fruit, like when it dies. So like you can like, feel it. It is uh, very volatile. Ah, okay. Wait, does that mean like 
volatile as in it explodes? It explodes? It is rumored. I mean, we've never proven it, right? Because it's never exploded. But it's rumored to have that potential. But it's also rumored Mm. to speak and deliver us presents once a year. So, um, Like Santa. All right. I don't know who Santa is, but... I don't know either, actually. <laughs> but we say Merry Fruitmas. <laughs> Merry Fruit. Merry Fruit. <laughs> okay, add that to the lore wiki editors. Okay. Uh, all right. Every once all right. a year. Every once a year. <laughs> Fruitmas <laughs> time is once a year. Hopefully, it's not fruitcake. That would be terrible. Oh god, yeah, yeah. that's awful. Yeah. Someone yeah. just sent me Rule Thirty Four Ragnar. What the fuck? Yo, finally. I mean, yeah, that's, I haven't I, seen I'm any surprised Rule that took right that now. long. Yeah. Most of the Rule 34 is of Roulette and Cleo and... Yeah. Uh, but not any of Hemlock. Arkma. And Hemlock, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I mean... I mean, I, I'm me and Doxy are pretty good at stealing stuff. We could just sneak in and take the fruit. I mean, we could maybe take, you know, maybe Verona could come with me. Duros, I don't know. Hmm. What are you talking about? I'm a master of stealth, Captain. <laughs> yeah. I have always been. Sneaking missions maybe, are my maybe, specialty. Maybe you could distract the guards at the gate or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> well, I, I've done it before. Remember? Yeah. We did that a yeah. long time ago. It yeah, let's, this good. is a throwback to an old adventure. Let's let's yes. do it by the book, the old playbook. Let's do that. What, you mean episode one? <laughs> yeah, remember we broke into that to that mansion? I oh, think it was, was two. good old days. I think it was like was, episode two no, or three. It's definitely episode one. That, that was episode one. Episode one oh. was three hours long. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff done in that episode. Yeah, yeah it was a whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go back to the old days. You know, we time traveled. We might as well. You know. <laughs> sure. Right. Good old reliable. I can do that. Um, are you working on it, Arthur? Are you working on a timetable here? Like, you know, if you don't get the fruit back by this time, you attack. We go to war tomorrow. To oh shit! Okay, oh, like tomorrow well, morning. Tomorrow morning. Deadline. All right, we got a day to get this fruit back. Okay. You do. All right. What do you guys want to well, do? Well, Captain, we need to find Louis regardless, so we might as well go in there and infiltrate try to get the, the fruit, city, get the fruit yeah. back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like it'll be easier to find Louis without the chaos of war. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so you, um, we're almost. At, you guys have pretty much just a, uh, entered the camp now at this point as you're walking mm-hmm. and talking. Um, he goes, "You don't want to stay a little bit, get some food and supplies." Are you just going to go gung-ho? Of, we have food, kind of, I mean, drink, mead, be merry, my friends. We're going well, to war tomorrow. A short rest for our injured friends probably would be smart. I, I was going to um, say we could do a long rest even, because it's only 10 a.m. I, I mean, I'll, we could... I'll... Yeah. If we long rested, it'd be like sunset by the time we're done, and we're going to have to steal. If we're going to steal something, might as well do it in the cover of night anyway. Yeah. You know? And that's just the smart move. Do you want a long so, rest? What do you guys think? How long is a long rest? Eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, yeah. So it's, you, about, long it's about it, it, 10, 30, 11 now. Yeah, so it'd be seven. It'd be right around the time it's starting to get dusk, probably, something like yeah. that. Perfect. I'm All right, hungry. Cool. Good. Let's eat. All right, cool. When in Rome. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. So you guys yes. long rest. You get everything back. Woo. All right. Uh, nice, you nice, eat. Nice. You enjoy your food. And you wake up. The sun is setting, but it's not quite down yet. You know, it's probably like six thirty, seven o'clock. Okay. Um, and you... Are you going to set forth? Um, I would like... Do you have some cloaks? Some cool-looking cloaks? Do we wear? have cloaks, my friends? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, of course. We'll get you some cloaks. Would you like to meet my dad and my mother? Uh, sure. They Hi. Are, um... Uh, Hello the, there. The dad shakes the. They they're, they're also like eating with you guys and existing and resting, right? Being merry with their men. Um, the the king he looks quite different from Blue Blood. Um, uh, he he has a big beard, um, big features. It was oh, uh, who are these guys? Are these alloys? We're the Devil's Luck Pirates, sir. Pirates, huh? That's funny. Yep. Um, it is a funny word. I love saying it. <laughs> I, it's, yeah. uh, it's like we eat pie a lot. Pie. And then we rate it. And we rate the pie, yes. <laughs> we oh, pie that, that, 
That uh, pumpkin pie I had last week, that was only like a four out of ten, but that cherry pie. I am uh -oh. I am King Vermouth. This is my wife, Sapphire. And she Oh, okay. I like sapphires. She's Good gem. dressed in all blue. Probably uh, my favorite dress, kind of gem. Blue. Yeah. I mean, she has blue sapphires all over herself. Nice, um, nice. Oh, blue blood. I get it. It connects back. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Are you here to help us with the war efforts? Uh, I mean, we're gonna. I mean, we're gonna steal the the fruit for you guys, so you don't have to fight in a war. That's that's the best war ever. The one that you don't actually have to fight. He puts a big hand on your shoulder. Well, good luck, son. We blue bloods are a prideful bunch, but. If you're able to get us back, ah, uh, ancient relic, we will not shed blood. Awesome. Red or blue. You can trust, yeah, you can trust in me and my crew. Um, great. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, yeah. William's like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Doxy, Doxy, like, looks over to Verona and goes, is this fucker my grandpa? <laughs> I mean, I guess. I think so, yeah. And Jimmy, Jimmy's just staring at them. Like with the same yeah, Jimmy. How do you? Oh fuck! I forgot to console Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, are you are you all right with this man? Hey man, they don't you know. talk like you. They don't talk like uh. They don't have your trademark catchphrases. Maybe that's because I like, grew um... up in the Oasis. Bada bing. Ah right, that's the ad Oasis. That's what we look. That's what we sound like yeah. in the Oasis. Yeah. Is what I say. That everybody sounded like that in the Oasis. Yep. Well, at yeah. least where I'm from. Right. <laughs> Babooey. <laughs> the it's the Italian portion of the Oasis. Hey, mamma mia. Right. Okay, I, I guys, I gotta be honest with you. I have no idea what's going on right now, but we All have right. to steal a pineapple. It's like apparently. seven o'clock, seven p.m. Okay. now. <coughs> All right, you um, guys have your cloaks and stuff, and you set forth. Does everybody want to come? Okay, everyone's coming. Jimmy, Cyril, Pearl, everybody. Yeah. We probably should because, right. like, yeah, if we, we find a way, big here. gang. Well, yeah, if we find a way, well, we're gonna have to come back here anyway to return the pineapple. But you know, if there's a way to get yeah. out of here without, like, we, if we find Louis and we could get a way back to the future, it's, we might just take that anyway. You know it's what I mean? Best for them to be with us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. But all right, the as you guys, so you guys start walking uh, towards the the great kingdom, and as you guys are walking, uh, time passes. Obviously, it's gonna take a couple hours. As it gets to about 8 p.m., the sun sets. And then as the sun sets, suddenly, from the distance direction of the kingdom, a giant explosion blasts forth with such mega... Like, it's the biggest explosion you've ever seen in your life, and it completely vaporizes everyone, including so, you guys. It's like a nuke going off, then? It goes completely white. And then you wait, hear, wait, wait. So you, we're we're just talking and like walking, like, hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah. It just, and then all okay. of a sudden, you hear birds, <laughs> and you open your eyes, and there is a sun rising in the distance it's around eight a.m. What the fuck? And you hear a voice go, "What are you lot doing lying there? It's not safe here to oh. lie." Oh, what the shit! All and right. You open your Grand eyes and you day. see a you see a man so for with a like. Rest. <laughs> a golden beard, short golden hair. He's wearing Hi, armor. My, it's name, armor. my name is Ragnar. I'm a bear. It's armor that you recognize. He looks very similar to Blue Blood. He looks like a younger Blue Blood. Mm. Um, and he wait puts... a second. Can I try? Can I? Can I go small again if I wanted to? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Did you, did you guys see all that? The explosion and everything? What that the happened, fuck right? is going on? Yeah. Says Doxy. <laughs> uh, Doxy, no, I, just chill, uh, chill, chill. Okay, I'm taking that as a yes then. Okay, cool. Um, shit, I'm really out of my depth here on this one. Right. Verona, Verona, you have any ideas? You're smart with this. See, it appears we're in some sort of time loop paradox. The fuck is a paradox? We, I don't know how to explain it, but basically, if we don't stop that explosion from happening roughly eight hours from now oh. we're going to be stuck in this exact spot continuously can we run so, through a loop one more time just to make sure it's it's, <laughs> it's actually this is how it works what are you yeah, so, uh, around, 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 around 10 p.m. Yeah. you again we do okay, everything the same right. <laughs> sir it happens Thank around you. 10 p.m <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay okay but okay. by interfering we're gonna affect the future but if we All don't right. interfere we're never gonna get back so yeah i guess fuck uh, the future Let's let's uh, run through sir. it one more time the exact same way and then see. So, <laughs> no, we're just a bunch of. Let's not Haruhi Susumu. <laughs> <laughs> we're just a bunch of friendly people taking a nap. 
We're going to be taking a nap here for a little while. We'll talk I... to you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, what? God. Okay. You're just going to lay here? Are you sure, my friend? Yes. Uh, my name is um, Arthur. Uh, are you? Can I trust you? I mean... I roll the same performance persuasion well, check, and I'm like, hi, yes, you look like an impeccable, you have an impeccable I mean, jawline, you, sir. You still have to roll. Yeah. It's a. It's the same, okay. Hey, you, <laughs> might, you might perform differently today. You're a different That's person. That's true. It's because yeah. we are still changing. Yeah. You still, you still okay. succeed. Oh, man, like... I'm just as charming as ever. Okay, there we go. <laughs> You're very yeah, sexy. Yeah, you can trust us. Don't worry. We're not going to bother you. You can march on by. We're just going to hang out here and uh, just take a nap. It's like, yeah. Captain, shouldn't we tell him that we're going to steal the fruit? Perhaps we can get some aid before we go. And Do you want to go through out? all that bullshit again? That was a lot of work. <laughs> we had to walk for like two hours. Imagine <laughs> doing that all over again. You know? Well, in order to stop this, I feel like we have to get whatever that fruit is and return it somehow. Get us back to the proper timeline. All right, all right, I got this, I got this. I, he's charmed by me at the moment. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Arthur, You're very I sexy, a, he says. I, oh, thank you. I am also a seer from the future. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, you, you come from a mysterious, far-off planet. Your name is Arthur, and a mysterious fruit that is the idol of your people has gone missing in the city. I'm like dancing around like a well, fucking you've, jackass. You've definitely done your research, on. my friend. How do you yes, know all yes. that? Because we are the ones destined to save the fruit and give it back to you. We are the heroes of legend. Well, we heroes can... of ages. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can use all the help we can get. We're about to go all to right. war. Well, yes, but don't, because that will ruin your future if you do that. <laughs> 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 yes, but don't. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just how it worked like World War II like we're going to war just don't though yes. just don't <laughs> um, no. give your regards to uh, your father Vermouth and your mother Sapphire say her dress is lovely and we will go save the fruit for you and we'll deliver it to your camp no need to tell us where it is we already know Ooh, heroes of ages well I will I will go and I will tell my father and my mother that it's nice to All meet right, you what is, what is your name William the Future Seer. William the Future Seer. Yes. Wow. Nice to meet you. And uh, he, he, he shakes William your hand. William the Future Seer. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay, then. So, uh, all right. You may call me Future Ragnar. <laughs> future Ragnar. I'm a bear. Future Olaf! <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> okay. So. We're a select. We're a select group of seers, but trust me, we know what we're doing. You yeah. sure you, you'll be? Are you sneaking into the into the? the we'll city? take. Yeah, we're, we're gonna I, sneak I, into you the can city call and me get Kronos. It back. I thought of that. I think that one's. Yeah, clever. yeah. This is Kronos the Knight. <laughs> yeah. Verona, what do you want your future name to be? Hmm. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Carl. Yeah. Carl. Hmm? Beautiful name. Thank you, Charles. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that happened. <laughs> okay, so you guys going straight to the city now this time? I, I guess we don't have a long rest now, so I have to remember what my hit points were at before. Oh, they were at 100. So we're well, good. do we um, still keep it or do we get reset back? You got, you got reset back. Oh, we, we got, got reset back. back. Yeah. We could take a short rest. That's only like what, like thirty minutes? Yeah, like thirty okay. minutes too. Yeah. Right, I already updated it. my HP. I don't remember what I was at. Yeah, I, I don't remember. What I, I, think I think I was think at ninety six. Yeah, I think I was at a hundred flat. But yeah. Olaf is very wounded. Yeah, okay, why don't we, we do, do a short, short rest? Yeah, yeah let's do, do a short have, rest. We still have hours. Tens yeah, yeah. Hours, well, yeah, we only have. Yeah, we got. Okay, so what? What was it, Verona? Ten o'clock, right? Ten p.m. 10 p.m. Yeah. All right. It's Approximately like what? eight hours. It's like 8.30 right now in the morning. It is It is eight in the morning, and also it was 8 p.m. I, I have no idea where you got 10 p.m. from. Oh, that's why we're double checking. <laughs> well, right. I thought you said it was. It took us hours to walk to the... Yeah, well, it was It was, It was. was going to take you hours as it went 8 p.m. the sunset. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, because we left at like 8, 6. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's why I wanted to run through the loop again, just like get the time <laughs> frame on this exact. But I was like, all right, all right, all right, fine, I'm fine. I mean, hey, if we fail, I guess we're right back here at the beginning again, so, you know. Well, How long um, is a short rest? Well, maybe not. Captain. Thirty minutes. Yes. Uh, maybe if we die, we don't reset. We like if we're oh. not alive when we get hit with the blast. 
Oh, that's a good. We point. probably don't come back, so I don't think nobody killed himself. Yeah, okay. that's, that's not, not <laughs> oh, my first choice. I was choice. about to test that. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> Charles is holding the sword to his neck. Like, yeah, he's like, mm, I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well see what that's... it feels like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god. I was in a campaign a couple weeks ago where we were in a dungeon and every time we would die, we would reset at the back of the front. So we just used it as fast travel. Like, you know, we <laughs> fought something and just like, all right, and then just pop back up at the beginning of the dungeon. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. Uh, we'll heal to up, the... I guess. Uh, no, short rest. Short first, rest. Right? Like, all right. Okay, so you roll your hit first. dice to, to recover yeah, health. I'll... Cool, cool. Do that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's some good, good. rolls. Alright, that's 17. Oh, that's good. I have. Okay, that's almost max for me. I'm alright. I'll do three. I am perfectly fine, Captain. Don't worry about me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I'll, uh, I'll inspiring leader shit too. Just like. <clears throat> alright, everybody. I don't know what the hell's going on right now, but we're in the past and we're stuck in a loop, but we might still be able to die, so don't die. Let's get this fruit, let's stop that explosion, whatever the hell happened, and get back to the future. Sounds like a good name for a movie, but I... <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, heck yes. So you guys... What a short rousing rest. speech. Thank you for the 15 temporary hit points. 16 plus my charisma mods, so it'd be 20 now. It's up to 20 straight. Is it equal nice. to your rogue level? Wait, hold on. Yeah, it'd be my rogue level, so it'd be 19, sorry. There you go. Everyone gets 19 hit points. Um, 19 temp. Oh, uh, yeah. 19 temp. Okay, so you guys have your nice little short rest. Uh, Doxy's very distressed. Sorry, Cyril, to be fair. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Um, um, oh, yeah, by the way, with that, I get it. It's six people, so we have the four of us. I'm going to give that to Doxy and Jimmy because it feels like they're going to need it the most. Okay. <laughs> you know, the extra, the extra that, ones, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming Arthur's no longer here. No, he's walked off now with his okay. rest in you. All right. Captain, okay. that took yes. everything in me not to, not to want to kill that guy. I know. Because if I killed him, I wonder if that would change the future. But it might just be, well, if you kill him, we might just reset anyway. So, but we'd best not find out. Not <laughs> but if we out. killed him, I don't think we would ever have met. We'll... God, so we would have never invaded. Wow, that's a really. But here's wow. the thing. We would have still met, just maybe not, maybe not Doxy. Well, you know? this like, is we wouldn't have is invaded here, Blue Blood. Is, he said he was the last of his kind that we know of. Yeah. And his whole family's here. So yeah. what if they just make things worse? Because oh, we don't know how they died. Yeah. We don't know what happened to them. And if we killed, if we killed him, then Doxy might not exist. Oh, Doxy and Jimmy a... are gonna fade into nothing. This is a head screw, man. But this at the same time, like, oh, um, that'll uh, probably just create a new timeline. Okay, line, Tempest Kaluuya. is gonna say, yeah, Tempest is gonna say, <laughs> I think Doxy and Jimmy would still exist. If you were to kill Arthur now, it would just create an entire set of timelines where he didn't exist. I imagine. Wait. And you so guys have come from a timeline into which he does. It's like a river. It flows forwards. Right. So yeah. if I go back in time and murdered myself when I was 10, I would still be here? Theoretically, Yes, yeah. because you Just would be from the timeline, timeline where you didn't murder yourself. Oh. Yeah. Okay. See, Captain, there's this theory where, like, basically, you do every single possible thing in a timeline. We're walking to the city. Like, <laughs> about so, like, right now, one of right, us now like, right now, uh -huh. there's a timeline where one of us is green eating a pineapple. That's so cool. But just one of us. Wow. All right. So hmm, you mean to tell me sure. there's a there's a reality where everything's exactly the same except that one blade of grass isn't there? Yes. And, and then there's another reality that's exactly the same as that except that one blade of grass is over there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But bringing this up makes me think that mind. Louis is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I agree with that, I, because he would obviously, it would just create a split where half of the Louis didn't become immortal and half of them did. But I think at least that seems good enough. Multiverse hmm. theory, man. Holy shit. All right. He is Multiverse theory. Half. Some Louis to become balanced, immortal. As things should be. <laughs> as but things considering should be. our Louis wasn't, he wouldn't be affecting our timeline. No. That's a big words, Ragnar. I'm proud of you. Well, I, I, I studied physics. <laughs> right, you, like you, you can read right now. You're hey, a lumberjack, you played hockey, and you're, uh, you're a physicist. I said that in one episode. <laughs> you did, I remember I thought now, you yeah. were joking. Yeah. 
Okay. Ragnar puts on a pair of glasses and a tie. Is like, yeah, I taught for ten years at the University of Ragnarton. You know, <laughs> no, like, my grandpappy taught me physics because it's always good to know certain things when <laughs> oh when, when building ships when, when, when building ships and houses. You have to understand physics to a certain extent. Dude, I, I, I'm just picturing you and your grandpappy like cutting wood, building a ship. Like, all right, Ragnar. So when the hypotenuse of the you know, just <laughs> all right, okay, well. All right, so you're talking as you're walking. Yeah, as we're walking toward the city, we're getting Mm -hmm. a a physics lesson. Okay. Uh, (laughs) Okay. Okay. Uh, When you arrive at the city, it is around um, 11.30. All right. Almost at 12. What, you get to the end? It's almost lunchtime. Almost lunchtime, roughly. Uh, You get to the entrance of the city, um, and it's uh, this now as you get closer... You could see giant buildings rising up into the to the sky with a mixture of modern and clockwork architecture. Mm-hmm. Um, you could even see like these huge golem-like constructions just sort of standing there, not in use, but they're just standing there next to the buildings. It, it looks the same as the abandoned city. Uh, right? Similar, but way more advanced than the right. abandoned city okay. ever alluded to. Um, okay. Okay. You know, this is crazy. Is there uh, a wall around the city? Uh, you know what? There, there isn't really a wall around the city. It just sort of goes out. Um, oh, I like to hear that. Yeah. yeah, it is. They don't have like closed borders. Um, All right. Wow. This and is, oh, this is convenient. And there are like roads that run into it, dirt tracks that become more and more um, paved Dave. as they get closer mm-hmm. to the city. Okay. Um, so, you guys could just sort of. Okay, so that explosion occurred at the at the clock tower, right? That's where the epicenter was. Did you see it? Um, Or was it just such a big explosion? Well, it was such a big from the distance you guys were. um, It it just seemed like it came from the city. Okay, okay, all right. You have no idea where it came from specifically. We got to find this pineapple, man. (laughs) We got to find this pineapple, man. Hey guys, I have a a, a a headache. I don't understand how this is gonna work. I'm gonna be honest, (laughs) like. If, if we don't let Louis eat the fruit, how the fuck are we going to get back to our timeline? But if we right. let him eat the fruit, then an explosion happens, and we have to do this fucking groundhog bullshit all over again. I just want to kill the fucking blue blood. <laughs> how did, how that did doesn't we... make any sense to do that, though, right? <laughs> That's not going to change I, mean, I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll solve anything. I just want to. You just want to do it. Uh... <laughs> all right. Well, perhaps we could change him to something worthwhile, too. We could yeah, perhaps save us. We can make him a nice blue blood. Maybe it's because his whole family got wiped out. Maybe that's why he got all upset and angry and mean. That's a pretty. <laughs> solid he seems theory. like a nice, upstanding gentleman so far. Yeah, he even seemed fine here. Yeah. Did yeah. you see his hair? It very long and flowing. Yeah. Hmm. Such a strange thing. We gotta find this pineapple though. So it looks like a big city. We gotta. We um, gotta fan out. I we mean, only have eight like hours. We'll find more answers when we find this pineapple. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. true. As you walk into the city. Uh, it is, I mean, you guys can imagine, it almost looks like a modern day city. It has street lights, it has buildings, um, it has even- Is Starbucks? Is there a, yeah, there's a Starbucks. Um, there are- Oh, right. You, as you notice, um, you guys are just, I assume, just walking in the middle of the road, right? Oh, sidewalk. Mocha Grande Frappuccino well, that I got from Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, th- you notice that there is a road and there are sidewalks, but I don't know if you guys could fully, like, Comprehend. I mean, is there okay? Are there large? Are there like cars in the middle of well, the road? Well, they're about they're about to be cars in the middle of the road. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna get run over by the giant mechanical. So you see these yeah. giant mechanical four wheeled uh, beasts, which are just cars, and they're sort of driving around this city. Um, are they like regular cars or like steampunk cars or like? Um, I would say that this is like you know like almost like 1920s cars. Oh, okay. All right. So, like, Model A's and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. That's. hmm. Oh. This is. That's new. What the heck is that? There's no horses drawing those carriages. I thought we were in the past too. This is this is really confusing, man. Oh. All right. Um. And there's also lots of people on the street, and they're all dressed weird. I mean, they're dressed sort of in. uh, Some of them are dressed in suits. Some of them are dressed like. In shirts and Great Gatsby, and... gotcha. Um, 
Hmm. Okay. Well, where do we, we just walked into the city? All right, we got. I yeah. think we walk in a single fashion line. <laughs> the clock tower. Uh, we we should first. probably try and find this clock first tower. First things first. Let's get into a single file line before we do anything. Yeah. Then, oh, God damn it. Okay. Um, and as you, yeah, and so you you walk into the city and there's a variety of shops and lights and things all over the place. There is a um, a library. There's a museum. There are shops. There's restaurants. There's cafes. There are, um, I think, anything you could imagine being in a typical city exists in this city. Um, and at the very center, you can see a giant clock tower. Um, almost that identical seems to, the to be probably the first place I think we should check. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure enough, yeah. the shopping center. Oh, okay. Is there a shopping mall? <laughs> <laughs> there is a shopping mall, yeah. Yeah. Is there a gun store? I'm channeling. I'm, I'm channeling Daniel a little bit here, but like, if there is like, if this is 1920s kind of era, you know. Yeah, that might be a gun store. I mean, I could upgrade this crappy like flintlock pistol with like, you know, a deagle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a desert eagle or something. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> I think we have some time. We could probably go shop in a bit. <laughs> yeah, let's just go shopping. <laughs> do we even have money on us, though? Yeah, Captain? we have. Do we berries. even have the local I, currency? I, I have no idea if they will accept this, but we yeah, have. Yeah, the I currency. don't think they'll accept our currency, though. Well, we We're also Irish. steal. Wait, we can also I used steal to pay shit. for the smoke latte frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Somebody, somebody. They, it's like that thing in line where it's like, oh, the guy in front of you paid for you, and it's just like the chain, and then you broke Wait, the chain. Did you actually go no. inside the Starbucks? Hold on. <laughs> uh, Let's go inside the Starbucks. Are you going inside a Starbucks? I can't. Sure. We might. This going to be copyrighted. I have to say something. Um, uh, fake, star fake Starbucks. It, like a yeah, <laughs> legally Starbucks. distinct Starbucks. Uh, like Moon Tarbucks. No, dumb <laughs> Starbucks. Moon Dosh. Everything's exactly the same as Starbucks, but the but the drinks are reasonably priced. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Oh, that, that's a good one. Starbucks. I like that one. <laughs> like a box. All right. I don't know, oh, man. Whatever they you want. They everything go with. in boxes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. But actually, guys, we should go to the gun store. We might as well. Wait, are you, <laughs> I mean, are you going to legally distinct let's go to Starbucks? Starbucks first? Okay, if we're okay. in front of the Starbucks. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, you All go right. to legally distinct Starbucks, um, All right. <laughs> and you open the door, and the person looks up and goes, "Welcome in." And then he's just like behind the counter doing stuff. There's some people Hi. sitting there. You guys look weird, so people like kind of stare at you a little bit. Uh, hey you there, see some uh, people whispering to each other. Do, do you take? Uh, I just throw a berry on the. Like, do you take this? Uh, he looks down, and then looks up at you. Is this some sort of joke? Yeah, this is the currency that we use. We're not from around. Is here. this from one of the uh, one of these foreign kingdoms? Y yeah. We don't. We don't take that. Oh, okay. Obviously. So, uh, what do you guys take? U.S. dollar. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulls out a stack. Paper like, money. That is such a weird foreign concept. Who uses paper? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, but they do use paper money. Um, they use paper money. Yeah. Okay. Paper. That's ridiculous. All right. <laughs> I know who, what I can who do. Who has value in paper? Like, no, 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 no. This is, a lot of bellies are paper, too. <laughs> this is good. Um, Berries are paper. No, at least we, we figured this out in a coffee shop. That's why I wanted to come into the coffee shop, because if we find out what the currency is, it's kind of low stakes in a coffee shop. Like, who in, cares? A, in a coffee at shop. At least we found out what they take. All right. <laughs> All right, well. Can't get my you guys stay in the coffee shop. I'm going to go. <laughs> I, I need to. I'll, I'll go get money really quick. Uh. Well, I okay. think we'll just leave. <laughs> have no um, we have no business in here, Captain. Yeah. It's fine. I, I have a plan. Can I have... <laughs> what's that called? A frappuccino? Could I have one of those? Do you have money? Is there anywhere else we could pay? Do you accept any other... Form? Wow, you assume that I have no money? That's ridiculous. Are you, you not with the... First. Are you not... I mean... You are dressed a little weird. You don't have a shirt on, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but no shirt, no service. Have no you shirt, never? No have you that? This is this is prejudice. 
Oh I, have you never been a barbarian so, before? I will. So I will. I'm I will going report, to have the. I'm going to tell the news Ragnar, station. Please. I'm, I'm going to tell the news station that you didn't serve me because of my race and the fact that my people don't wear clothes. Give me a frappuccino. Ragnar, right. Ragnar, I have a plan to get money. Don't worry, we'll get you the frappuccino. I, I am, I am I going have to idea. have to ask right. you to leave. I'm sorry. No, no, we're leaving. It's cool. Okay. I flip a table on the way out. <laughs> oh my Jesus. God. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> One thing if I didn't have money, but because I didn't have a shirt well, on, we've, we've gotten. Actual Karen. We've got <laughs> place, I want everything to blow up. Let him eat the food. <laughs> we've gotten banned from that legally distinct Starbucks. Uh, all right. Uh, I did Rusti flip the table. Rustage, yes. is there a casino in this town? Probably, yeah. All right. I okay. Um, <laughs> like this really sh shouldn't take that long. Right. Look, Captain, um, can we is, just go to the it, clock? It's around <laughs> 1 p.m. now. We, that, that took an hour and a half just to go into the Starbucks. You, this is from entering the city and walking around, looking around, oh, going to Starbucks. All right, all right, I have to right, sort of fine. keep a sort of mental track of... Okay. We're going to spend like two hours gambling and then... <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> give, me, give me one hour I can get money. I, and you're going to have nothing, Captain. No, I could get what? Give me one hour I could get money. No, I swear, we're I, going, Captain. <laughs> I'm not feeding your gambling addiction anymore. It's not you gambling have a problem. addiction. Look I'm, at you. You're shaking right now, Captain. <laughs> I... <laughs> Duros, this is what I do, okay? I know, Captain. That's why I have to stop you. You have bad habits. It's gonna rub off on Doxy. Look at how impressionable she is. Oh, hey, what a fucking Look at gamble. Her. Slot machines. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, seriously. One hour, probably less. Just give it to me. All right, no. I'm gonna run off toward the casino. No, okay. damn it, Captain. I'm also gonna go casino. Yeah, I'm gonna win. okay. No, seriously. No, this is what I'm gonna do. First things first, I'm gonna pickpocket a random person on the street. Okay? Holy shit. So Sleight of hand. I'm, yes, let's go. Come on. 25. That's pretty good. You okay, pick pocket pick about pocket five mega bucks. That's fine. Then I go to the casino with the five mega bucks. All right. All right. You enter the casino. All right. Uh, Doxy's with me. Doxy is with you. So All you right. Go, here you, we you go. You go to the entrance of the casino and the, the bouncer goes, <clears throat> ID, please. <laughs> I use panache on him. I don't. <laughs> Well, ID, you're asking me for ID. Yes. My God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. terrible. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, well, I don't have luck points because we reset, but he still needs to give me an insight check on this. Okay. Oh, does he still have? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Make a persuasion oh. by his insight. God, he's just okay. a dude. He's just a dude, but so he can say still be. He is that. a bouncer, though, so I'm gonna say he has plus two. Is that fair? All right, that's fair. That's fine. It's not that high. Okay. All right, so I guess he's got to get higher than that. Seven. Thirteen. Oh shit! All right. Wow. <laughs> Even the flat roll beat it. Okay. 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 So he's um, like, um, sir, sorry, you cannot be let into the casino unless you have ID, and also that looks like a child. <laughs> he points down at Doxy. <laughs> you have to be at least eighteen years old to go into uh, Big Papa's Casino. Big Papa's cause okay, sorry Doxy, you can't come in. All right, but I could come in, right? Uh, you, I'm if clearly you have, I. You, you, uh, you could. Listen, we have to ID anyone who looks over the age of twenty-five. That's just the law. Oh, that wait, you have to ID anybody that looks over. Oh, the oh age under of the age of twenty-five. Sorry, yeah, Doxy. <laughs> <laughs> under the under the uh, age under the, under age, the of age of twenty-five. I'm twenty-nine, sir. Okay. Okay. You look 12. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. All right, Ragnar should have came, but he didn't. He's is, upset about the, is, the, fra the right, frappuccino. I'm gonna go, he's just I'm looking go, at the Starbucks. Like, all right, all right, oh, whatever. I'm gonna I mean, go back. he points over at Ragnar and he's like, if you want someone who looks of age, take a look at that guy over there with this shirt right there. off. Okay, all right. I'm going to go back to you guys then. All right, so uh, good news is I got five bucks. Bad news is I couldn't get into the casino. Hmm. What have we learned, Captain? We learned to carry ID, I guess. Is, is, <laughs> yeah. Maybe not to be impractical. Oh, well, it's fine. Dox, Dox, you want to sneak in? Oh, fuck yeah. All right, let's uh, go. Stop that right now. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that. That poor child. You are yeah. not a good parent, are you, mister? Then again, knowing your upbringing from boss. Hey, man, you got to learn how to sneak into casinos. That's like I learned that when I was like six. All right. You did that okay. during the Oasis. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm surprised that William knows what an ID is. Uh, I mean, like, 
I guess in the One Piece world, yeah, they don't really have those. Yeah. Not really. No. Yeah. Do you like a bounty? I'll say, like, I guess the lesson is to carry ID. I have no idea what that <laughs> what is. What the fuck yeah. that is? <laughs> okay. So, okay. You go back I do to... Have reliable, I do have reliable talent, but that only makes it 10. He still beat it. He got 13. So, yeah. Oh, you wouldn't know. Um, that would have made it uh, 14, actually. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, I missed it. Yeah, okay, later. okay. Um, uh, Let's try sneaking in, I guess. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you and Doxy yeah. are going to start sneaking in. Um, <laughs> okay. look, look, Captain, we, we need to go <laughs> to the clock tower here. It's like, I said an hour. It's only, How long has it been? It's been half an hour, roughly. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. I mean, you guys should walk to the casino, have a full okay, conversation fine, with the fine, bouncer, fine, walk fine. back. <laughs> What, what am I rolling to break into the casino? Well, hold on. How are you going to do it first? <laughs> oh so you go uh, to the casino. It's a building. <laughs> it's a big building. It has a large, like, animatronic of this man with a big beard. Uh, mm. <laughs> and he has big papa okay. over, over it. And he's like, like that. Um, <laughs> uh, going around the back, and back alley. So you, you're going to look around the back. So Yeah, like a fire exit or something. Do a, do a stealth roll for me then. Okay, okay. Pretty good. All right, so you're yeah. practically invisible. As you're yes. as you're walking around the back, you notice a small, um, weird-looking box attached to the wall that has like a glass thing at the end, and it seems to be making like moving back and forth and making a sort of mechanical sound as it moves back and forth. Um, okay. Just letting you know. Um. So wait, is it outside? Okay. Is where am I? Am I in the alley? Yeah, and it's you're, you're, like, yeah, yeah. You're sort of going around the building, and it's like okay. um, near the back of the building, also like in a parking lot area. But it's okay. uh, it's like this weird huh. box that's going like this back and forth. Um, a little. Obviously, William I, doesn't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Is there a door back here? Um, yes. So you just gotta walk past it. I guess, yeah. Okay, so you just walk past it. Um, <laughs> what the fuck that thing is? Uh, and then you get to the back area and you see there is a door, small steps leading up to it. And okay. there is a man standing by the back door and he's smoking on a cigarette. He doesn't notice you, obviously, because you're super stealthy. Yeah, I'm super stealthy. Is there a box in the alley or anything? Um, Empty box, a crate, anything? Yeah, there's like a pile of um, like rubbish because there's all, all the... Right. Ca- um, yeah. Rubbish I don't bins know. I'll back. find like an empty box, an empty crate. I don't even care. And yeah. I'll just like, just like walk up the steps with the empty box. <laughs> just like, okay. All right. How you doing, man? How you doing? Um, he goes, all right, mate. Who are you? I, I don't acknowledge him. I just try to open the door. I'm like, oh, I'm just here to deliver the thing, man. De- deliver the thing? <laughs> Through the back? You know, deliveries go around the front. Hey, man. Th- you- this is, you know, for the owner. It's this special All right. shit. You Do know? a deception yeah. here, my friend. Okay. Oh, good, good. He's like, oh, oh, of course. Oh, for yep. Big Papa mm-hmm. himself. Yeah, the Big Papa. Yeah, he wants his, his you know. All right. I okay. see, I see, I see. Well, All right. I understand. You go straight in then. Big Papa is okay, down the hallway to the left. He is okay. seeing I'm Samantha gonna... right now, but I'm sure you can interrupt if it's that important. Nah, it's all right. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got okay. it. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. I'm just gonna <laughs> take my five mega bucks, change it into chips, and then go over to the roulette. To, not roulette. Um, something I can. All right. Cheat so at. you okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, just, you were in the back alleys at the moment, so you have to find get into the main casino oh, area, right? right? So there are many doors. You don't know which one goes <laughs> where, William. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk in. Uh, down the right corridor, there are two doors, left and right. Down the left corridor, there is one door to the right. Shit, so there are three doors. Here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be easier to do, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, are, you are in a proper still fishing, and Doxy's there like, what the fuck is going on? Just, 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 just. Okay. We, can, we got this. We just have to find the floor and just get the money, okay? Or at this point, might as well just fucking rob the place. I don't even fucking know at this point. All right. Um... Take the door on the right. I don't know. Let's go. You're going to go down the cor- corridor, door on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you go down the corridor, door on the right. You you open it up, and it's a toilet. Great. Okay. Um, door on the left, then. Door on the left, you, you open it up, and you see this large man with a big beard. 
Um, on his lap is a sultry looking lady with long blonde hair. Um, mm. He's there, he's got rings on his fingers, he's in a suit, his trousers are halfway down his legs. He's got a table <laughs> with just a bunch of like uh, gambling stuff all over it. And he looks over to you and he goes, Eh! What? Sorry, why did you not knock, eh? Um, hey, you got to see I'm busy over here. I told everyone I was with Samantha. I sh- okay, I just shut the door behind me and I, I just like shit. Um, all, all right, I guess we're fucking doing this. All right, it's like just, it's like what the fuck are you talking about? I brought the stuff, you know the stuff. You come in. You wait, wait. You shut the door behind you. You went into the room. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's like the stuff. What are you talking about? He's like you know, zipping up stuff. his pants and putting his belt. <laughs> Samantha, sit down. Who are you? I'm I'm Bill with the stuff, you know, Bill. You fucking called me. Do a deception, I guess, but it's a very high DC. (laughs) There's nothing in the box. Oh my god, (laughs) thirty one. You called me three days ago to bring you the fucking stuff. All right, here I am with the stuff. I open the door. You're getting your dick sucked. Like, come on, man. Oh, like, who does that? Who does that? Sorry. We agree. My we agreed. memory. My memory is not as good as it used to be. I am back when I was just uh, Papa Junior and not Big Papa. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Okay, great. I, I am so sorry. Ah, uh, you got the stuff. Of course, yeah. this is important. Right. It must just be in this box then, right? Yeah, Let me have a box. look. Well, wait a second. <laughs> you know, you got to give me the you got to give me the money first. Oh, of course, of course. Yes. <laughs> but let me check. No, it's... no. That's not how we do things over at the <laughs> Um, at the big house. The big house. God. (laughs) Oh my god. Well, you did get a 31, so he definitely (laughs) believes you. Yeah, all He right. pulls out a wad of mega bucks and drops it in your hand. All right, I then. Count it, I count it like I know this currency. I'm like, all right. This is half actually, now, wait, and no, then half wait, until no, I no. get it. All right, fine. Here. Okay, and then I uh, take good. the money and run out the door as fast <laughs> you, as I you can. Do. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> you leave, and you go out the back door. The janitor. I go out the back door. I run past the dude smoking a J, and I run back to the crew, and I'm like, okay, guys, we got money. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> what about Doxy? She's Doxy. there too. She's with me. Yeah. <laughs> can, I have, can I have some money for a frappuccino? This place. Yeah. Can off. Here's I, I hand him, if it's like oh, if it's like American dollar, I, I give him a twenty. Here you go. Just okay. Like, I walk it's in. A, it's One a... frappuccino, please. And I slap the money on the table. Still no shirt on. <laughs> oh, I've no. told you that you're you, sir. You're banned from this store. Put a shirt on. I grab my hat, table. <laughs> cut the fuck in my bar you, table You hat. cut the bar table? <laughs> oh, she, she desperately goes to her phone and picks it up. Police, police, we have a madman with an axe just destroyed the table, threatening my life in here. Give Help me a me. goddamn frappuccino. She's demanding a frappuccino. I'm scared. Okay, so we'll make a frappuccino. Jamie is watching this all go down. He's just in a park outside. It's like, I'm just going to wait for the nuke. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, uh, Duro. I'm, 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 I'm just waiting for the nuke yeah, at this yeah. point. <laughs> I have my, I, I have my act like, it's towards like, like, the girl's back. Give yeah, me a frappuccino it's right like now. It's 2.30 to 3 at this point. That whole escapade with William took... <laughs> <laughs> so what does she do? Does she make you a frappuccino? I have the axe at her neck. I mean, yeah, she's gonna stop. She's already called the police, uh, and now she's gonna start frantically trying to make you a frappuccino. She's uh, like shaking and she's like running. The machine. It makes the frappuccino even better because it's like uh, it's, it's a f- it's a it's a f- right now. Oh, Betty, yeah. <laughs> it's a fear <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking. <laughs> oh, um, as she's about to finish the fr- frappuccino, Duros, you're sitting outside, right? Is anyone else inside the building? I'm with Duros. I, I, I'm, I'm with there Duros just too. I, 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 you guys, <laughs> after all, he busted out the axe, we just, I just walked. You out. guys I'm notice like, a <laughs> bunch of police cars stop outside of the Starbucks that legally. Oh god, Starbucks. this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. I grab uh, the frappuccino. I take a sip. Can I, like, what does it taste like? Can I roll for flavor? Like, does Ragnar like, even <laughs> like fucking frappuccino? I don't even know what a frappuccino <laughs> is. Hey, Ragnar, what actually, is, what, you don't. You know, it's like no, Ragnar doesn't. Ragnar doesn't. 
I don't know. It's roll like a, a roll mixture a, of coffee and ice cream. <laughs> roll like for a D, coffee. It's I don't like know. coffee. Roll a D20, yeah. I guess. It's like cold Just coffee. Sweet, sweet coffee. <laughs> I don't know. You really like Delicious. it. Oh, okay. Radar takes a sip and he's like, oh my god. This is almost as good as ale. I am so sorry. Next time, serve a, if, a, if a, a huge dude with no shirt and an axe comes in, maybe serve him. Yeah. And That's I, fair. That's fair. I fix. Yeah. I fix. I, I like. I, I use my carpentry skills. It's just I to fix, fix the, the table. I fix the table <laughs> at like the, at the counter. I fix it all. I say thank you very much. And start walking out. And then, as what you happens? get to the door, the the police officer, two police officers, bust in. Uh, one of them, his arm is completely robotic, right? Um, uh, and the other one is just sort of. He's, so he's, we're just sitting outside on like the little table outside yeah, and, the Starbucks. Yeah, like, you unless know, you're like, like not, just stop the police, but they they I'm enter. Not, yeah. One of them's young with like uh, short blonde hair and freckles. The other one's like older, big mustache and a sort of robotic arm. Um, <laughs> and they go, all right, all right, all right. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? You've been causing quite a ruckus around here, mate. You're under arrest hey. for disturbing the peace and vandalism. What vandalism? He looks over. Miss, who said he destroyed the table? And the, the woman's like, yeah, but he <laughs> rebuilt it? I know. <laughs> Better than normal? <laughs> it, it I, looks- I think she's losing it, man. I just got upset because I wasn't wearing a shirt. But I have money. This, is, this is place is no fair. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right then, sir. We will not arrest you, but we must ask you to leave the premises. You have, you are trespassing. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, the frappuccino and- was pretty good. I'll just leave. No, no worries. Bye, guys. And... and- and I am going to issue a fine. What is your address? Uh, I don't live here. All right, well. Actually, <laughs> I, I, I say where I live. Like, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Where well, do you... I, I don't remember the address like, on the top of my head or whatever, but like, like the, the, my little town and like the number, I'll say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is. There you go. He just writes out his... He just hands you a fine. Make sure you pay that by the end of the week or else you will get arrested, mate. Okay. Uh, and he pats you on the shoulder. How much money did I steal? Uh, about five grand. Oh, shit. All right. I, don't know what the, <laughs> I, don't know, I wonder what stuff he was expecting. Uh, like, it's okay. Big Papa's stuff. It's Big Papa's stuff. Okay, yeah. I, as I'm walking out, I look over at the lady. Next time, don't be rude to paying customers, you stupid bitch. Calm down, Holy shit. Okay. Oh, my God. God. All right. Uh, that. Uh, I look over at the clock. What, what time is it? It's like three o'clock. o'clock now. All right. After so all that, that was shit. a great way to spend the first half of our day. I think now we actually probably should start looking for this fucking pineapple. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, no gun store. We were gonna go to the gun store. Right? Oh, wait. <laughs> we have money. We might as well go we to the gun money, store. We have money. Five grand. Shit. From- well. Big Four thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars after I gave the twenty to Ragnar. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, if 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 I rolled a one through five on that prop, but you know you don't want to know what I was gonna do. Oh god. <laughs> They're lucky it was good. <laughs> right. Um, where's the there's where's the gun? You no, know, Captain. I guess? Just, this is just a thought. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What if I ask you for that ID again? Uh, I mean, I I don't think they would ask you ID in a gun store. Why would you need ID at a gun store? What's an ID? I don't even know what that is. Does that does that stand for something? I don't know. But they stopped you before. I mean, maybe it stop you again. I don't know. All right. Maybe. Well, okay. By that logic, they said Ragnar wouldn't be ID'd. So Ragnar, you go buy my gun. Well, he for apparently me. needed a shirt. Okay. <laughs> and that is one thing I will never do. Jimmy, Jimmy, <laughs> hey. Jimmy, you're old. You go buy the guns for Jimmy's me. Jimmy's not even that old. He's just withered. He, yeah. Well, that's that. He's that like. Counts. He's. I think he might be about your age, William. He's yeah, but he looks 20s. older. I've seen the art of him. He looks like he's in his 40s or 50s. Yeah, that's you know? just because he's Italian. No one would mistake him for being under 21 or something like okay. that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good point. All right, so. Hey! Gun, gun store for Rona. Let's go get you, like, a better gun or something. Like, that'd be cool. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I don't lose it in the next two hours. <laughs> okay, you you find a gun store. <clears throat> okay. Uh, All right, what kind of guns an hour we looking? has passed. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know, like 20 minutes passed looking for this gun All store. All right, that's not too bad. It's still um, 320. All right, tra- that's good. Uh, <laughs> give me a letter. Uh, any letter. Just give P. me a letter. Um, Q. Oh, gosh, you gave me two letters. Okay. Um, <laughs> P, this is, P. We'll go P for <laughs> Um... <laughs> 
Uh, this is Pierre's gun store. <laughs> Pierre's gun store. All right. Okay. So you, uh, it is open, and you walk on in, and you see Pierre behind the counter, long nose, uh, hunched over. He's polishing a gun. He goes, "Hey, hola." Hey there. Uh, I, I I lay down my flintlock, and I'm just like, "Can I get something that shoots a little faster and better and more accurate than this thing?" I a vintage model. I see. Yeah, yeah, vintage. I'll even sell it to you if you, you know, price is right. Mm, it is antique. Yeah, that means it's worth a lot. Uh, about two grand. Oh, uh, no, I am not in the purpose of selling, but would you uh, like uh, to buy? I have many different guns. Does Show me your best sniper rifle. There sniper you go. rifle. Ah. It's like a Barrett 50 cal. <laughs> yeah. It's like Modern Warfare 2 kind of shit. <laughs> I don't think they. Well, actually, no. There are no, some. They I mean, it's guns. very futuristic. Yeah. They they might 19, have some high tech. Nineteen nineteen. Guns oh yeah, over they. Here. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I only. I do want to state. I only said the cars looked like they're from nineteen twenty. Okay. Right? So you so said it's not, like modern day city. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The technology is not modern sniper rifle. <laughs> the technology is not. You know, I mean, there was a CCTV camera that William passed. That's oh, what that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, they have they have advanced technology, but so they old have, looking cars. Oh. They have some some things that they're more advanced in some areas and others. You know, I'm just taking a Maybe wild guess. Their gun tech here. is modern warfare. If, if they know? have gun tech, if they advanced have modern warfare, warfare, yeah, seriously. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. I do have uh, a sniper rifle. She is a beaut. She is worth seven thousand mega bucks. <laughs> Places it on the table, opens it up. Do you mind if I pick this thing up and look at it? You can look at it as much as you want, my friend. Okay. Uh, but I how animate about... it, but I tell it, but I kind of lean in and whisper, "Shut the fuck up! Don't say a goddamn." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we animate it. He sort of don't say anything. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then it follows your command. Hmm, <laughs> that's very nice, but seven thousand's a little steep. Ah, uh, but it is a beauty, is it not? One of the finest rifles. I mean, it is maybe the most expensive thing in this store. Wow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go get a job, and I'll be back. <laughs> I walk you out do of the that, store. my friend. <laughs> I um, walk out of the oh, store. Oh, just then... so you know, you don't have to wear a mask in my shop. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's a fashion statement. Uh, it is not a good one. I walk out and like I kind of like think to the gun, run out of the store and find me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the, the, the fucking gun I'm, I'm, gets up I'm, I'm, and starts no, running out, and Pierre I, goes. No 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 no, ah! no, 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 no. Before, no, I will begin to talk to Pierre and try to distract him while the gun sneaks out the back door. Okay. All right. What do you say to Pierre? For, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, that's my friend. He needs to get a job. Anyway, um, I would like, if I can see like a modern pistol in the case, I'll be like, I want to look at that beauty right there. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. I'm looking for something that looks like a modern day, like Desert Eagle handgun or something. All right. You know, I, you know I'll yeah. do uh, performance for I've only ever played Modern Warfare 2. That is the only game okay, I have okay. for reference. I do, do okay. like a performance for like how uh, well you're yeah. actively trying yeah. to distract him. You're good at performance anyway. 19, yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It, I think it, it works. Uh, so he, yeah, he's looking at the gun and yeah, he's handing it to you. Like, he's like, okay. So how much is, is this? Um, what is it? It's a de desert eagle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, you know, a third, this is wow, around 2,000 two mega bucks. All right. Yeah, I could do that. Can you give me some ammo too? Like oh, couple, yes, a couple of, course, of cases of, of course. Of okay, and then All as right. this is going on, the fucking sniper yeah. rifle yeah. stands <laughs> up. Get out the back. Yeah. <laughs> jumps out and runs through the front door. All right. And then it, it, it then stands next to Verona and goes, So, yes, sir, what do you need, <laughs> sir? I, I just pick it up and, like, load it onto my back. Yeah, <laughs> of yeah, course, yeah. sir. And, and deanimate it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh, two grand for the gun and yeah. some ammo. Um, I, ammo see. I will include... Oh, thank you so I'm much. I'm also gonna run further down the street just so I don't get like caught <laughs> yeah, by this fair. guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, can I also buy like, is there a big fucking combat knife in in this store? Like a Rambo kind of knife? <laughs> probably, yeah. All right, I'll buy that too. Okay, yeah. that's probably like 200. Uh, mega yeah, it's probably not that much. Okay, I'll get that. And um, let me think here. Uh, what else do I need? Um, 
Hey, uh, I, I'm gonna buy sniper rifle bullets because he didn't get any bullets. For that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I, Veronic makes his own bullets. Oh, I that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So them. I would know that. I would know that. So he could figure it out. I'm like, okay. Well, nice doing business with you, Pierre. Of you course. have a great day. So I Ragnar's this. been standing here, didn't say a word, just all smug, sipping his drink. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's just happy. And actually, I walk out because the... you just see Duros in the distance, looking at the clock tower, just like ah. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna run over problems. to Duros. Actually, I'll I just have... run wherever Duros. We have every... problems. Duros, every single member of the Devil's Lock Pirates, you guys have done a crime now. It's your turn <laughs> to do a crime. <laughs> so I, I, mean, I, mean, I walk out though, and what, I feel what, what Duros is left out. Be? Is there like a fancy shield shop? And <laughs> <laughs> I give Duros the big Rambo combat knife. Duros, I bought you something. Here you go. I wanted you to be included. I'm not going to use this. I have my sword. <laughs> <laughs> but this is better. Look how cool it is. It's like this Maybe. giant knife that's like as big as William's head. <laughs> and I'm like. I guess. <laughs> Maybe like a throwing knife, perhaps. You I might need know. this someday. Take this, okay? Here. Yeah. It's like a Rambo knife. Here you go. Okay, cool. Troy, it's going All to right. disappear. I know it. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, okay. All right. Now. Now we're good. Now we could go and deal with the pineapple explosion thing. Okay. Okay. It's like 4 p.m. All right. 4 p.m. All right. Good. We got four hours. We can do this. <laughs> So anything else, guys, or should we just? Uh, I'm. Oh I'm, my god, I'm, it's so good. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah, let's set. Just go. I'm locked and loaded. I really <laughs> want to keep this thing. Let's get this. Yeah, job let's done. go. Let's move. Now we have shit to do. I don't know if we could do all this in the same exact way if the loop happens again. All right, let's. So, go. you walk towards the clock tower, um, sniper, um, <laughs> and you you walk into the city. You're walking past various sites and things. It's all very impressive looking. You eventually get to the base of the clock tower, and it's sort of um, wardened off. There's like railing, and there's a couple of police officers standing outside the clock tower. And okay. as you guys approach, they say, "Oh no, 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 no witnesses. We are we're dealing with an incident up in the clock tower at the moment." All right. Um. So no, no further than this. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, that's no, fine. We'll just back up a bit and just go over. N not like close to them, but like away from them. We could still see the clock tower. Okay. Um, by the way, first of all, Duros, if you don't want that knife, Doxy would probably be better. Knives! You know? Yeah. Yeah. She really know, likes I think I feel like she would definitely knife, appreciate knife, the knife. 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 Yeah. Let's, I think that's probably better. So she, she grabs just has this knife. It's like the size of <laughs> God. All right. There you go. It's like a, it's like a machete for her. Really, honestly. Probably oh, would yeah. suit her better. All right. It's more all right. like Doxy's, a claymore for her. Doxy's got a giant <laughs> this Rambo knife. <laughs> this knife's hedge. It's hedge buff. <laughs> oh, shit, man. All right. Okay. So, uh, are we gonna do the old? Duros distracts the guards while we sneak in through the back and go off the top of the... I mean, I could scale that thing if I have to, so... <laughs> Holy you know. shit. Yeah, I mean... Well, if you want me to, I could uh, do a little talking here while you figure things out. Sure, I'll talk to the fine gentleman. And, uh... uh fuck it. I guess I'll just go right up to the officer again. Yes. Hello, um, good sir, I did catch your name, officer... Bentley. Bentley, ah, oh, yes, Bentley. Nice to meet uh, you. what's... What what seemed to happen here? Do you would you mind telling? Or? Uh, it is not um for pirate nothing. It's fine. We have everything under control. Um, I'm not taking any questions at the moment. Are you with the news? Are you with the press? Oh yes, yes. Uh, it just seems I I have a client that used to live here before, and uh, you know. Oh, are you a friend of the here? victims? Yes, yes. And they just need to know. All right. Some information. This, this is a deception, an unusual role for Duros, but it is a lie. Very very unusual. Unusual. Where it goes. <laughs> we'll just see how this goes. Yeah, re there's really no else there because I don't know anything about this town, so I can't say any truth. So I have to do deception. Um, unfortunately, it's not great. Uh, oh, not bad. Oh, that's not bad. He goes. Oh, okay. Um, well, if you really are familiar with the uh, the victim. I am so sorry. Um, it doesn't look great. I will say that. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, there's... He, he leans in, he goes, just because I feel sorry for you. Um, yeah, there's been uh, an incident. We, su we suspect murder, but your friend in there uh, we haven't properly identified him yet. Um, he doesn't really... His dental records have yet to match anything that we know. But 
if you could probably help us identify him um, uh, if you know who it is, but yeah. I will happily use whatever guidance I can give you to the best of my ability. Oh, my great. Friend. That would be big help. If if that's okay, actually, if if you think that will... I could talk to my boss and we could find a way to have you come in so you can help identify the body. Yes, yes. I will, of, of course, do this service for you. All right. The boys in blue. Yeah, my boss was just busy. He had to deal with something down at the Starbucks briefly, but he's coming back now. Oh, that's, uh, that's weird. A Starbucks? Well, what could I possibly know. have happened Some there? weirdo, apparently, was, like, chopping into furniture um, with no shirt on. Um, oh. but, Shirtless. Hmm. Yeah. This is rather hard, isn't that? Yeah. As I step in front of Ragnar. <laughs> I <laughs> Ragnar in front of my that, is, that would be really weird. If Who would do that? You got the big, giant, extra large Frappuccino. You're just... <laughs> um, yeah. And then at that point, the police car rocks up, and the man with the robotic arm comes out. And it like turns into he he gets out a cigar and his robotic arm turns into a lighter and lights the cigar and then turns back into a hand. Oh well, well, well. Still no news on the body. And Bentley turns around and goes, Chief, no, but apparently we have someone here who might uh, be able to identify the uh, deceased. Um, yes, hello. I'm here to assist you if I can, Officer. Uh, you could just call me Chief for a moment. Chief. Chief DC. Yes, it is. Chief DC, then. Uh, nice to meet you. And he hands out his um, his robotic arm as a hand. Mm. Well, of course, I'll shake it. I'll hand out my metal arm. Yeah. Hey, he bought that metal. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And he blows out some smoke. All right, then. Um, it's not pretty, though. You sure you can handle it? Oh, I've seen my fair share of bloodshed, unfortunately. All right. Right this way. Just you, though. Oh. Um, We're all... I'm, I'm I look back, back at the... You know. Well, uh, that's what they expected me to do, so... Yeah, yes, of course, yes, of course. All right. And you guys... He, he, he leads you underneath the tape, the rope, and you walk into the clock tower. And as you walk inside, you see the laid out on the ground uh, is the dead body of old Louis LeClock. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Stab wound in his, in his chest, just laying Ooh. there on the floor of the clock tower. Um, autopsy report says it happened sometime between 1, 12 and 1 p.m., like 12, 1 p.m. roughly. <sighs> then we got caught here. Um... Almost immediately, they heard noises. So it's still a fresh body. And that's where we'll have it to be continued. Like to be continued. Just the nice. murdered body of Louis LeClock. Okay. 